Hey folks, I was watching the lightning detector on Go 16 as I tend to do each day, and something caught my eye off the coast of Baja in Southern California. It is enormous compared to the other strikes you can see, peppered about the visible half of the Earth to the satellite. Now as I zoom in and slow down, you can see the anomaly a bit more clearly. The entire length of the flash sequence is more than a thousand miles, not to mention the 100 mile wide portion. Now I had just looked at this hours earlier, so I already knew there were absolutely no storms in the vicinity. This was a high pressure situation. That convergence line between the cells was far too off to the west to be visible, and GO-16 confirmed indeed there were not storms in the area of the flashes. And so, I turned on the RGB air mass, which I'm nicknaming the Keymaster due to its delivery of numerous explanations of phenomena seen by the satellite and subsequently opened doors. By this point, you should recognize that the flow differential in air mass, as noted at the color change, is where these flashes are occurring. And now just to make things a bit more complicated, look at the flow from the southwest to the northeast up towards California. This is not at all what was visible on our previous maps, indeed at the surface it's kind of the opposite. So let's come up to the jet stream. You see its feet here and then the core of the streams. So let's go ahead and see what the upper level water vapor looks like in Wowza. Comparing back and forth with the previous images showing no storms, we can see that a major atmospheric flow of vapor was at the core region hit by the flash, much higher than the clouds. Things like that are not coincidence. That flash was at the jet stream level, and that was no error. It might have been even higher. And given the global electric circuit flow attempting to come down on high pressure cells below those jets, we should watch for unforecast anomalies in the mid and lower level patterns across the U.S. the remainder of the week, and foreshocks along the west coast may represent more relevance in that period as well. Hopefully the ionosphere took it back and what we saw was overload of that layer, sort of the opposite of what happens in sprites, which are upward flows of the global electric circuit, but do spray downward at the ionosphere level when they jellyfish out due to overloading. Did that happen and return the current to the sky or not? The weather, ground, and time will tell. Be safe, everyone.